I am disappointed. I am highly disappointed. This video that I'm gonna react to, I should have made number one in this list. Everybody else in this video is buns, is trash. Each and every one of them probably never played ball in their life. Maybe after they started doing YouTube, but all these people on here are trash. And I had to speak my mind. So there was this video that went around saying the top 10 YouTubers, they were the top 10 basketball YouTubers, man. And I wasn't on the list. I know I could bust all the ass in basketball one on one. But I ain't gonna say no more, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell, spam that like. And comment below if I'm right or wrong, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare myself to each and every one of these youth basketball YouTubers, man. Let's get into the video. Today we'll be talking about and going in depth on the basketball community's grades, stats, and overall ratings. There's always been and is going to be talk about who's the best player on the court. While everyone's list is different, I think mine's the most accurate. It that man, flight is trash. I'm gonna be analyzing everyone's Jester's strengths. Trash. Weaknesses and scale them in the top 10 list. Bree is type nice. Ain't Starting cat. off the list at number 10, we have Kenny. Kenny Chow. overall now, 85. Kenny's offensive threat on the court, but Finishing his defense at times plus, can be a plus plus defense, C minus. Kenny's record is 5 and 4. He's at 85 overall in my Compare opinion. Compare him to Kemba Walker. Now, throughout this video, um, the record won't decide. This nigga, bro, his handle list. is suspect. It does add a little effect to the list, but not entirely. So I just put it in there regardless. What? What? And Look at this for nigga, Kenny, bro. I give him a, a finishing, a plus shooting. This C nigga is trash. I will bust his ass, Kenny. I will bust your ass. Bro. A plus rebounds and A plus handles. Now, Kenny's quick. He's a shooter, but his defense isn't great. So his NBA resemblance is Kemba Walker, as they do play similar play styles. Ah, uh, he made a little jumper. Kenny is Hall of Fame quick first step because he's quick out of that first step when he's in a triple third position. He has Hall of Fame range extender. We all know he can shoot from beyond the arc and anywhere in the that three. So trash, he's man. deadly. You cannot leave him open. You gotta put a hand in his face at all times. Let's go, man. Go and to the next person. Slithery finisher because Kenny can take contact, but he's evasive at the rim. So he's really smooth with going up with the layups. So he's dangerous at that part, too. Overall, Kenny's a solid player. I think anyone would want him on their team. But this is a per nine. We got Jesser. Jesser. Just number a nine, huh? 200 prime machine that has underrated dribbles in my opinion and just the game is pretty smooth but just i'll still bust your ass just bro you're not beating me one-on-one -on -one. he's a 86 overall a finishing a minus shooting and man look at jonathan's c plus strength c plus hmm. speed a rebounds and b plus handles just his best Attributes are his shooting and his finishing. But just a cut dunk, he needs to be energized. Now his moves, I kind of like him though. I ain't gonna lie. But that him. boy's still trash. I bust his ass. Is his speed and defense. Now, look at my basketball videos, man. I was just playing around. If I actually play like play ball, I would just throw. He plays a lot like Luka Doncic, in my opinion. He kind of has the same physique. They both have a step back in their arsenal. They both can shoot. They both can get at the rim. And they're both pretty good passers. 86 uh, overall. Jester, Hall of Fame corner specialist. We know Jesse loves his corners. Jesse's corner is his favorite shot, and he doesn't miss a lot of those. I gave him mm. Hall of Fame green machine. When Jesse gets it going, he can't miss. So he's a really tricky player in that sense. And I gave him Dimer because he can't pass. But while making this video, I realized... I forgot that Jester loves his fades, so for that I'm giving him Hall of Fame fades. So he always got flight in his videos, bro. <laughs> flight always getting his ass buzzed. We have the one and only Rice Gum at number 8. Rice is oh, Rice Gum, man, you should be like number well, 20, bro. I'll bust true. your ass. Rice Gum could ball. He's currently undefeated, beating Flight, Jester, and Cash Nasty. Rice Gum is 3 and 0 with an 87 overall. 3 and 0, 87 a overall. A plus shooting, D defense, D minus strength, B plus speed, T minus rebounds, and B plus handles. Think of pan him to a freaking Trey Young? Best are you stupid, bro? Shooting and his finishing. But his handles are pretty good. His strength and defense are almost non existent. Rice isn't the biggest. But he is smart on the court. Yo, oh, cash, destroy this dude, bro. Yo, these are the worst YouTubers ever, cash, bro. Like, if I could play rim, ball. Taking every opportunity to shoot while he could. Raskin could shoot off the dribble and with any hand in his face. He is a good dribbler, too. So that's why I compared him to Trey Young. 
Why you can shoot anywhere in the court and dribble around anyone he wants. Bryce has Hall of Fame, Range Extender, Hall of Fame, Ice. Bro, this man is trash, bro. Bryce gets Booty off cheeks. to a hot start. He'll stay that way until he misses. And we all know he's got the ice in his veins to kill any match he wants. Although he is undefeated, it is a small margin of games that we have man, to play against. Ty has an impressive 18 and 5 record and is an 88 overall. Ty seems like he know what he's doing. Tyler guys seems like he know what he's, he's, like he he's doing. B strength, B minus speed, A minus rebounds. Finishing A plus, shooting A, defense. He could finish, he could shoot, and he has great defense. I was still, Tyler got a whole bunch of ass. I'll go to defense, LA right now if they want to win a bunch of ass, bro. But when he's trying, he's locked down. So for that, I gave him the Seattle. Look at his form, bro. His form is crazy. He's actually like the Olanzo. Think of him as a two-way player. Ty's go-to move is this sidestep, step back he has, which I don't know how it works, but he always goes for it. Shit horrible, he can take bro. Those shots. Ty has Hall of Fame post bends since he loves doing post bends. Hall of Fame difficult shots. He hits tough shots in Hall of Fame deep range dead eye. Even when he's fully contested, Ty can shoot over those with the confidence that he has. Oh, the strongest Ty got, bro. Shot. So we got Ty at number eight. Luke. Well, Ty is kind of low on the list. He's one of the best on the court, and he's a threat on both ends. Coming up at number seven, we got Cash Nasty. I decided to put Cash at number six since he relies on Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty. He's not bad. It does work for him. He's my top player. Is that like you had that Cash football defense? That'll keep following you and shit. You can get tight. You want to fight? I got Cash at an 89 overall with A minus Cash Nasty 89. Okay. A plus defense. A plus strength, B speed, A minus rebounds, and B minus handles. Cash's worst match by far are bro. his shooting and handles. Cash does get streaky at times, but it's not very reliable. Cash is a hybrid NBA resemblance with Pat Bev on the defense side and Westbrook on the offensive side. While he's not as close to Pat Bev. Westbrook, <laughs> he has. He did ask to be a on defense. He does, he does. His favorite spots on the court are at the free throw line. Top of the key is mostly where he makes his threes and the left side of the rim where he goes for his left-handed layups. Cash is Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame hot zone hunter. I put hot zone hunter just for the reason that Cash is most <laughs> efficient at the top of the they key fly, always and the other hot zones. And he has Hall of Fame relentless finishers since he can take contact and going into the rim. Cash for this man. 110% Cash, but 50k Mel himself. Mao doesn't have much 1v1 videos on his channel, but regardless, we've seen his game on other people's videos. Mao has a 1v1 record of 3 and 1, and he's the first 98 yeah, overall. Cal, Mal. I gave Mal he seems a okay. I'm not gonna cut his ass, defense, but Cal, I'll beat your ass though. C plus speed, B plus rebounds, and B plus handles. Mao is great at taking contested layups and contested jumpers. Mao is also left handed, so the left hand layup is also his go to move. Mal loves to step James back. Harden. He plays a lot like Harden. So for that, I gave him a Hall of Fame <laughs> Difficult Shots badge. Hall of Fame yeah. Dead Eye, and you guys do too. Cash, if you're watching this, I'm sure Mal would be down too. Diving into the number four spot, we got the Layup King, T Jazz. Now, T Jazz, T Jazz is probably real. nice, bro. Sure, T Jazz handle is nice. In fact, He'll he's probably the be the hardest person to but play 1v1. In my opinion. Without including some games, that's because his handles. His finishing skills too. A plus finishing, A shooting, C plus defense, C strength, A speed, Campbell, I mean, C rebounds, and A plus handles. Freaking, uh, he just is by far the best finisher on this list. He's got one of the best Kyrie. handles on this list. Comparable to Kenny, maybe even better, but Ooh, his defense is substantially worse than that. He'd probably be the hardest person. His offense kind of makes up for that part of the Defensively, game. Defensively, I'll probably like, like I'll Kyrie probably. Irving with his dribbles and his he probably know, he probably know defense. I'll destroy him on offense. Him TJS has Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame quick first step, and Hall of Fame tight handles. TJS is very good at dribbling, very good at handling, and he's a Ooh. shooter. Enough for all of you that think you can just lay up, be for real, got game. TJS is one of the most talented on our list at the number four spot. This one might be a bit controversial, but at number three, we have Your Rage. Rage, for the most part, is a reaction and gaming channel. Yeah, You're right, so I'm not even going to talk about this. Good sense with Wake and Trim. From the fame contact with the clip you Duke Dennis. Duke uses his height and body when posting up or Ooh, Duke Dennis. I don't know what he pulls up on people's faces and can usually shoot over those. On the other end, he has okay. clamps, almost being on par, okay. if not with cash. Duke as well doesn't have 
much 1v1s on this channel, but is 3-0. He's a 94, 94 overall. overall. A plus finishing, A shooting, A plus defense, A strength, Mella B Anthony. speed, B rebounds, and B handle. Dunk, okay. he could I don't shoot, know what this is, but he's got clamps. So I gave him a high grade of Melo too. and Kawhi for being able to make a difference as well. And being able to dunk and be athletic and finish at the rim, I give him Hall of Fame contact finisher. Dunk is someone you don't want to play against, since he will put you on clamps and score on you on the other end. I couldn't mm. really decide who to put for number one, since I could see any of these two winning depending on the day. As you all know, Solomonati was a beast in high school and still is pretty good in today's day. Solomonati hasn't played Solomonati. much on the either, but he is 5-0, and so he is undefeated as well. Soul is a 95 overall with A plus finishing, A plus shooting, A plus defense, A strength, A minus speed, B plus rebounds, and B plus handles. He's a consistent shooter from anywhere on the court, whether it be the three point, the mid range, or the post. Solomon Audi is a flight always get beat, bro. Why you why you embarrass a flight like that? Man with his contested jumpers, post fadeaways, and his consistent three pointers. He has Ooh. some more badges to Dick Dennis with Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame dead eye, and the Hall of Fame tries, bro. I don't really you. see You're the worst player in YouTube. Solomon Audi out to the top five, even that, except for the next number one on the list. As you could probably guess by now, the next number one spot, we got the Giraffe, LSK. LSK is, is nice. with an all-around game. It's pretty hard to stop him anywhere on the that court nice. his height and range. LSK, like a lot of these YouTubers, hasn't played much 1v1s, but he is 3-1 and one and a 95 overall as well. Yeah, I, I play like Cameron Durant too, shit. Eight shooting, eight and defense, I play like freaking, strength, play like freaking uh, Giannis. Handed. You might be thinking A minus strength is too much for LSK since he's not that built, but basketball strength and in real life strength is two different things. And with LSK being 6'10, he is tough to stop on the post. LSK can pretty much dunk over anyone and can shoot over actually, He might be the hardest so person to play against, against actually. Of KD and Porzingis. LSK's post defense isn't the best, but there isn't much competition to anyone close to his height, so he can easily block that out of the way. So for that, I give him Hall of Fame goal 10 mm. and Hall of Fame Intimidator. LSK could also shoot pretty far. And is known for his half court shots and challenges. Thank you guys for watching my list. If you have any suggestions of flight, bro. or want to share your own list, <laughs> drop them down below. I'm not going to finish Make this sure shit up, all, man. Yeah. I want to challenge all these people one on one right now, bro. I will fly to LA and bust all your ass tied to God. Uh, 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 Chee Jazz. Uh, Cash Nasty. 50 Cal Mile. Uh, who else is in there? The Giraffe. Who else is in there? Jesser. Uh, who else is there? Um, There's two Asian boys, boy. Man, I'll destroy all of them, bro. Look at my videos on YouTube, of the basketball ones, man. And, like, I wasn't even going that hard in those videos, man. But watch them. You guys know I bust their ass, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, man. Add them, tag them, let them know, bro. I'll bust all their ass. It's your boy Breezy. Everything easy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. I got 20 on my feet. Everybody know my name, ringing bells, ringing bells like the hallway. Uh -huh.